so uh this is a new um series i think that's the name yeah so yeah this is this is a new series i think that's the name yeah so this is a new th uh, series of me um like like teaching like how to win at chess this is a how to win at chess series so uh, first we're gonna play a three minute game and then a 10 and one minute so first of all uh so i have lost so many games on this account because i just wanted to come to lowest level to tell you how to win so against d5 i i play against d4 i play d5 so um this move is already bad because it kind it blocks the bishop unless you want to uh, put the bishop bishop on b2 or d2 so i'm actually gonna play um c5 um so that move is met with bishop to d7 so uh takes now i'm gonna i'm kind of getting ready to now okay kind of getting ready to castle after knight to c6 and uh c5 uh, was for if him takes I have a big big center and now we're gonna push and if there we, we will I think we're gonna go here it's a fork and after this game I'm gonna show you guys uh, some openings and this game is just for uh, me to show you guys how to win so yeah he lost the knight and he's gonna probably lo lose the rook unless he plays queen here or pawn here pawn to uh, uh, c th yeah pawn to c3 and queen to d4 would w uh, not lose the rook but any other move would so takes now you guys you need to uh, look for traps like now if i take if takes now he's gonna think that i'm dumb but now wow no actually vow how did he saw that if takes i'm gonna take the rook how did he saw that that's that's wonderful i mean not for me because i'm i'm not gonna win the queen but for him it is so takes takes yeah guys you should always look for traps like the point of me playing knight to c6 it, it, it was to take this and take the rook but he did not fell for the trap so yeah the point was that so what's happening if i go check if he blocks i'm gonna take and knight to f6 if takes back not a good move that's not a good move so knight to f6 yeah so knight to g4 is because i want to go queen to f5 that move that move looks good that move uh um rook there but this moves always guys look for danger levels like gotham chases danger levels uh, so sometimes they might danger you but always look for danger levels so now if i take if takes take and if you don't take like move i'm gonna take so see that doesn't look bad and the pawn is pinned yeah by the queen pinned by the queen by my queen so yeah guys you should always look for danger levels always now look this is a main part two to the king and the queen are defending this one and i have three pieces attacking it so if i take this i'm i'm just gonna have a trade of queen and is worth is better for me and guys have you seen here this is 43 points if i win wow i have never seen that much so now i should probably play rook to b8 i mean i should probably castle but rook to b8 force uh, force him to move the knight in a bad square 
I mean, night here was better takes takes. I mean, this move doesn't look bad, but always look at the back rank. He could play rook to c8 and win the, my rook. So I'm gonna first castle, then play rook to b3. Okay, that move. That move, I might just move. Can I move my knight? I mean, I might just come here, save a square. Okay, yeah, now things I need to trade because uh, I'm up five points and whenever you're up material uh, trade every time So mm -hmm. So he didn't trade interesting I'll play this one and uh, I have 20 seconds, so I need to hurry So I'm gonna take with this if takes takes is a discovered check so I could win the night. Okay. That was free by the way. I did not saw I saw that myself. Yeah. And don't forget this is a three two game, so that means whenever uh w any move that I play it will add two seconds to uh so when I play a move, it will uh, add two seconds because I don't know how, but it does. I think this move doesn't look well. I'll check, check. Yeah. No. Can we win the rook? Big question. I mean, this move doesn't look. Every time, uh, guys, 15 seconds when you see it is is not a lot of time, but when you when you're in a situation that you have 15 seconds is a lot of time. Use it. And uh, yeah, so after that we're gonna play yeah. Just remember that you you. You need to be careful because you might stalemate. That's checkmate if yeah. So I got forty three points, yeah. Okay, let's go here to learn. So I'm now gonna show you guys the, uh, some opening and uh, like some opening traps that I've taught before on my channel. So E four E four very good opening. E e4 is good for the Danish gambit yeah Danish gambit so it begins with e4 e5 d4 now when they take you into offer another pawn and if they take you into offer another pawn yeah but if they didn't took if they take until here and play normal moves uh, like after this if they play normal moves play this Big center. This is a very big center. Two pawns in the center. Best. Every every YouTuber say that. Every chess player says that the two pawns in the center is very good. So, but if they take, you're gonna offer another pawn. And now is when the fun begins. If they take, if they take this, you're gonna take back. Now you have a. Look at that. Look at that. These bishops are unstoppable. Look at his pieces. You have two pieces already developed. And he has a pawn on e5 going to b2. You just... Uh, your uh, The evaluation bar... Like... Uh, the evaluation bar... I I mean, I'm sure that it says this position is better for right. 100% sure. Uh, sure by, even by being two pawns down. And now, if they play d5 to get the center back, you're gonna. I mean, yeah, I forgot the gambit, I think. Let me check there. there, there. I mean, if, if 
it was me, I would have taken with the pawn. Because of this move, or secondly, because of it, like, closes white position. Like, white bishop can go no, uh, nowhere. And, like, uh, like you could make a, uh, make a threat after this move and this. You have a threat on f7, you're threatening to checkmate. So, yeah, this is the gambit. If they play d5, you have a very good bishops. And if you don't want to take with the pawn, you think that that's, like, not a good move. You could take with this. But they might play this move to trade. They want to trade. They obviously want to trade because look at these bishops. Look at this. These bishops control every square. But if they play this, you know what to do. Take on b7. I mean, they obviously want to trade, but they cannot play that move. They first have to play knight to c6. Or they might play this. If they play that move, you should mm -hmm, come back here. You know why? Because when they take, you don't want them to ruin your castling. Uh, uh, ruin your castling that you have to take back with the king. You will take back with bishop takes d1. Because, like, your bishop is very strong. You don't need to trade it for, for a knight. Remember, uh, bishops can control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 squares at a time. <laughs> or, actually, bishops control all of the squares, half of the squares on, on, a, on this board. But knight only control 8. So, yeah, it, this is your choice if you want to trade the bishop for the knight. But if it, if it was me, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So, okay, let's go back to the beginning. So, e4, there's uh, other cool gambits when they play e5. This is the best response for e4. Now you're going to play f4. Now, everyone, like, no one knows unless you're an NM, FM, IM, GM, or the world champion. Or a very great but like stockfish or maximum if they take that like that move is very common everyone knows this play uh, bishop to c4 and when they play this uh, when they take play knight to f3 you know what does that move does when they take, you could take. I know it's a check, but you could take. And, like, they have no moves to do. Like, so, like, if they move back, like, you're going to take a open rook. Yeah, I know, your king is weak. Two pieces developed. A, this, this rook is developed. This is open rook th that's developed. Three pieces developed. And d5, big center. Like, what do you want? Like, better than that? And like, if he gives you one or two moves, d5, like, another move, like, bishop here, and... Look, look at this. Look at this. After queen to e2 or um, d3 or, or queen to e2, d2 or d3, castle on in the game. Very easy. So yeah. So and um, a very very common game that has been played countless time and I'm gonna show you the main line is the Ray Lopez game and it uh, starts like this. So now there are two lines bishop to a4 and takes so I unfortunately don't know the line for bishop to a4 but I'm gonna read it read the book and understand it so we're gonna see a uh, bishop takes that and this is the best move this is the best move take back with the d pawn yeah let me just change this take back with the d pawn 
two bishops, two open bishops. I opened like you have to take back with the deep one. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Take him like what? Oh, like now what? You have an isolation, isolated pawn, yeah. Isolated, yeah. I think that was the name. Isolated, yeah. I think isolated pawn. But if you take back with D pawn, you have not isolated. I, boy, I'm not sure if the name is isolated. But I'm gonna call it isolated. But if it's wrong, write it in the comments. <laughs> and this is is gonna be defended by F6 easily. And these are together. These are together. But if you take back with the B pawn, this is gonna be a long. Yeah. So I take with the this pawn, the D pawn, and when they take the pawn on E5, Queen to D4. Like yeah, I know when first I saw this, like I I I thought what there has to be a way for him to defend. But there is actually no way. Best move is knight to f3. And then takes and he's a check. And after here. Trade. And he lost his right to castle. And bishop to c4 pinning the knight to the uh, king. Now what they're going to do. A h, a h3. Take. Take, take. And then castle. Take take and then castle. Like what? Well, they wanna play d5, then then develop the bishop. But guess what? If they play d5, your bishop is already developed. Knight to f3, knight to uh, knight to c3, knight to f6. Next move if this is the next move for the next move next move for you is rook to e1, rook to e8. They have to move back. And then what about this right now? And if takes you 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 would um you would not have double pawns anymore. Or if you could play this, and if they don't move the king, uh, like if they don't move the king, you're gonna take this because this is pinned. And then if they even give you another chance, you're gonna move here. If they play this move. Take the pawn is check if they play here. You're completely winning right now. Completely. Completely. The meaning of completely. Or you could actually uh, instead of taking um, with actually take with the rook. If they give you some move like two moves. One, two, two moves. If they give you two moves, the bishop is dead. If they don't move their king, and if they if they play king to e1 on the first move, it's okay. Just play f5. If they give you another move, I like, like. If they play king to d8, king to f1, king to d1 or f1 or d2. Oh, the trap will not work. But if they come back to king to e2 or play any other move. That's it, f4. Oh, the bishop is blocking it, so they cannot even play king 2. There. And there. Yeah, f4, just win the bishop. Being up a bishop is a lot of things. It's like, at least, at least fix this double pawn. That was only a Lopez game. Now let's go for the Italian, yeah? The Italian. So the Italian begins with e4, e5, knight to f3. Oh, let me change this. And knight to c6 and bishop to c4. This is the Italian game. Actually, this kind of looks like the fried liver attack. Because this is how you uh, start the fried, fried liver attack. So we're going to go for the fried liver attack right now. If they play knight to f6, you're going to go knight to g5. This is the fried liver attack. So some people play like this. Knight to a5. Yeah, so they played that, so they don't want to get fried livered. So, yeah, that's why. So, yeah, that's why some people play a5 to stop the attack. But if they did it, good for you. Now you're gonna take this, this, 
and if they do that right now right now play this move yeah I have actually done this myself in a game play takes takes f2 knight takes f2 if they take back now is when the game starts queen to f3 if they move if they move there the only move is take here 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 that's a false checkmate like we don't care if they even play that or takes is forced checkmate if they play this guess what the king is wide open they will they will lose easily after takes and you're gonna come back and win and uh, come back d4 if they went there that that like here where would you go where is the only move is here or here and d5 the only move and guess what guess what believe it or not this or this or here is met with a bishop takes queen so you have to play this move and when they play that move the game well um oh wait actually I, I'm not sure if you can play queen to g3 like here and here yeah and then if queen here just take yeah so yeah so yeah you should you have to play g5 oh wait I just saw, I saw the number so g3 only only move for them is to go to king to h3 and then this move wins the game by force they have to play queen to h4 and after takes it's gonna be checkmate yeah so okay though the fried liver is kind of scary so yeah they have to play this and after here there is no way to attack uh uh, put another uh, like uh, add another defender except this move or this move which they're met with takes here here d4 if takes castle and rook to f1 is coming I'll show you now is when the game starts now what will they play? What is the common move? The common move is bishop here to stop rook there. He he he. Even if he there, we're gonna take because this is pinned, guys. I mean, some of you that are beginners, you should you should look at the piece that is defending it. See, is that pinned? Uh, can that move? You should say that to yourself. And after that, they cannot take, so I have to move back. And he he. Now you're gonna play. Takes. Defended. Is defended by the bishop and is checkmate. Yeah. See, it's checkmate. If you play this, he. Is not checkmate he has two moves so guys you should uh, remember the moves because it's very hard the moves you have to know the moves if you don't you I don't think you'll you will yeah you'll win and easily if they if they move somewhere else like here or here just take the knight just like if they move here Take the knight for the bishop. With the bishop. You know why? Because of that. Some people might go like. Okay, yeah, to take with the bishop. What can I do? Let's just go for castle. They think that if they played that, they could castle. And the f file is for them. But they don't get it that after queen to f3 is checkmate. Okay, and now, now let's go for 
and it's still wait, let me show you the other thing oh yeah not I took there so it's still the same after um after this we're gonna still take with this but now they don't have this move so they might they cannot move this too so they might play bishop to d7 or bishop to e6 to trade but shocking move if they play this move play d4 if takes play this move okay so now where will they go if they move here it's gonna be chick and winning the queen I mean they might come here you're gonna give a check right now you have to give a second check because that that's look at your uh, this thing is look at looking at your queen and the only two moves are there and if they just win the queen yeah so if they play here if they play here like now I showed you and play if they play king to e7 and bishop to e6 play d4 very very sneaky trap very sneaky so yeah let's now go for the actual fried liver game so yeah uh, no this is the real office so bishop to c4 the main line is like knight here i believe is like um this castles castles h3 h6 yeah so the main line is this the actual main line except yeah so this is the main line this is the main line i'll just go through it another time and uh, no this is why so after this they have to play um knight to f6 and you cannot go for the fried liver attack if you want to uh play the main line you need to play knight to c3 uh, and bishop to c5 and d3 d6 castles castles but they might play bishop dead they might not play the main line and h3 h6 so this is the main line and there is another trap that i really want to show you because it's very cool um the trap is very common very very common look at the trap i think it was so you cannot move this you cannot move this you have to play this this oh wait oh it's their move so they have to play they i mean this this now because you don't want them to see that you're playing a trap uh, trap of the if they play this one right now you're gonna play takes uh, that's free but you don't want to take you're gonna play d3 sneaky if they play this right now takes takes d4 a big center and because the bishop is more important then they might go here and take stakes a big center a, a bishop your bishop is open the queen is open the other bishop is open the king will castle in the next in the in the second next move and f f4 even f4 the f file will be yours and you could even go for uh, go for knight to c7 stuff and yeah this is just winning this is winning or you could even go for like if they don't castle if they give you a move or two f4 if they castle right now you're gonna take with the pawn you know why you have to take with the pawn taking with the queen is met with rookie eight yeah i know you have to move the queen but look who is uh, on the same rank is it rank yeah i'm not sure yeah let's just leave it so yeah i hope you guys uh learn a lot of stuff today because i learned myself i learned a lot of stuff uh, right now myself by teaching them and one last thing there is a very common trap the black pen shilling when you play the italian game there is a very common trap uh, the the name is Blackburn Shilling, 
gambit is very common it's like if you want to go for the flight deliver they're gonna play this now guys you you should not fall for this trap if you yeah you're gonna think like this if i take and take that's gonna be zero it's just a trade three for three but if i take this that's one for three one uh, one for three and that's now i'm up a pun now they might play this and now you're gonna take if if you want to play the flight ever and when you're there you'll 100 percent go for it so don't don't play like this yeah and rook to g2 they might play this now you might think that if i take the old take so what is the point and it's, it's gonna be checkmate after like takes takes push up to f1 and some moves oh wait actually take uh of after takes um takes and oh wait bishop to f1 knight here is meant what queen takes oh wait oh no 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 is meant what queen need to i thought the queen has to take so so yeah so you might think that if i take the there is they're gonna take the rook so what is the point let's shuffle it over to come to rook to f1 now they're gonna play this move shocking move yeah shocking move if you play this is checkmate horsey checkmate like savage this is pinned so you cannot take and if you block with the queen they're gonna take that ugly queen and yeah easily win the game unless you're like me because uh whenever i don't have my queen i just focus a lot and i played this at uh I played a game of chess uh, versus a teacher at my school. I he was very good. I played versus him. I I lost my queen by a mistake by like he was, his bishop was here. My queen was here. My pawn was there, and I took uh, took a pawn on here, and he took my queen. So yeah, I lost my queen, but I won the game by thinking by thinking. So yeah. So guys, do not fall for this trap. For do not fall for the black belt shielding trap. When they, when they play this, ignore it or take this back. And after after takes, you have to play this. If takes is good for you because you'll play this. But if they don't take, you'll play that because the uh, that pawn on here is very annoying because you cannot move your knight but d3 is not that bad actually play d3 first because then like now if you play this they have no more moves to go they have to take or ignore and when you take then they take and play this yeah oh wait they don't have the knight so yeah so yeah they play d3 uh, because if they like play like what well, like here like takes takes the knight to c3 easy then castle then there and their file is gonna be open yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learn lots of stuff and the black pen shilling gambit is for uh beginners and new to chess that would really work 100% work on a beginner or a new to chess player 100% that will work trust me play that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh oh wait i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next how to play chess episode